I think you'll agree that is some pretty sad scenes. Gyms closed, especially for you guys who love exercise and fitness, to see every gym in the UK still shut is a very disturbing scene. So the big question is, will gyms open again in July? This is the big question on everybody's mind at the moment. And to be honest, I don't have the answer to that. Only the government knows exactly the official date when the gyms are going to be opening. However, we have been told to prepare for that. Hence why I'm at the gym right now, preparing and getting everything ready for when we do open up in July. Whether that'll be the July the 4th or later on, we're getting everything ready and prepared right now. Now, what can we expect when the gyms open? What changes can we expect in the gym? Well, let's have a little look. So I think one of the first changes that we may have to consider is wearing a face mask. And, uh, you know, we have to wear them on public transport now. So there's a very, very strong possibility that we might have to wear these in the gym. Not a cool look. And this is what happens when you try to exercise wearing a face mask. Now, the only problem with wearing a mask is you can't breathe. And it also pulls your ears forward, makes your ears look big, which is not good. It's not a good look. So, if we have to wear masks in the gym, it's gonna be very difficult to breathe, very difficult. But hey, these are the government guidelines we've gotta follow just so we can open our gyms, then so be it. I'd rather wear a mask and use a gym than not wear a mask and not use a gym. Okay, so the next thing which we have to take in consideration is social distancing. We have a two meter tape here. Okay, so we're gonna have to consider that two meter rule everywhere in the gym. Markers on the floor. We're gonna have to separate and space out machines. So we have that huge two meter distance to protect ourselves. That's a big distance. Good job, it's a big gym. Now, the other thing we should have to consider is training partners and spotters. Hmm. Now, what happens if I need some help doing a bench press? What am I going to do? Hmm, so not having a training partner or a spotter can be pretty dangerous business if you get in a little tricky situation like I did just there. However, I think the government are now saying if you can prove that you live with that person, i.e. your wife, your partner, husband, anybody, and you can prove that they are living in the same house as you, then I think you're able to train with a training partner. Um, spotters for help. Still not too sure the guidelines there. Obviously, you can have gym staff and personal trainers available, but however, you gotta bear in mind, social distancing means that if you're doing a bench press and you can't lift that weight, there ain't not gonna be anybody there to save you. Bear that one in mind. Also, wet areas. If your gym has a swimming pool, it's possible that that pool is going to remain closed. Um, my gym doesn't have a swimming pool. We do have saunas. Bearing in mind, saunas in every gym are going to be shut because this is a very enclosed area which does not keep social distancing. So saunas, steam rooms, I'm guessing, are going to be out of bounds. I know that this gym, which has a sauna, will be completely closed. Uh, as of the showers, shower areas, saunas, jacuzzis, swim pools, I'm guessing they're all going to be closed in your gym. 
So other things to consider also, slots to train. Now a lot of gyms will have limited amount of people they are having in the gym at one time. Um, again, we're still waiting for official government guidelines to say how many people that will be, depending on the size of your business, depending on the size of your gym, and obviously how many members you've got active at that gym. Um, there may be slots that you have to book in for, we're not too sure just yet, but this is definitely going to be a possibility just to reduce the numbers in the gym at any one time. So just bear in mind, bear in mind no matter what gym you're at, there is probably going to be a strong chance and possibility that you may have to book or pre-book your slot. It may be one hour slots, I'm not too sure yet, but just bear in mind that this may be the case. There will also be hand cleaning stations all around the gym. So you can constantly clean and sanitize your hands, reducing the risk of spreading any germs or coronavirus. Clean. Now the other thing we also have to think about and consider is fitness classes. So as you can see here in the studio is a nice big space. However, when you have, for example, a Zumba class and you got 30 to 40 women in this studio or leaping around, social distancing is going to be an absolute nightmare. So do we run classes with smaller numbers? These are also things that we need to take in consideration. Um, yeah, so these are all sorts of things that we need in consideration to work around gyms reopening. Now, every gym is going to be having the same problems to face, the same issues, but, you know, when gyms open, at least they will be open. At least we can all start getting back into a normal fitness regime or fairly normal. I know it's going to be difficult especially with everything that's been going on but you know we adapt to anything so whether we have to have reduced numbers in the classes slots booked for certain times of the day social distancing everything we need to take in consideration we will manage and we will get these gyms up and running again every gym owner faces the same nightmare but we'll all work together and we'll get the ball rolling and things back on track again fingers crossed we will open up in July. Okay, so if the gyms do open in July, these are gonna be some of the changes that we're gonna to have to take into consideration. Please don't quote me on these because these are not official government guidelines. These are just common sense procedures that we're gonna put into practice to keep our gym members happy and our staff happy. So hopefully, hopefully early July, we'll be back on track and open, but we'll have to wait and see question was will my gym open in July the answer is I can't say that for sure I'm only going by what the government will tell us so fingers crossed everything will be back up running as normal or as normal as can be but just remember the gym is not going to be the same place at least not for a while so stay safe take care and I'll see you guys in the next video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already hit the subscribe button which is is it that side? Is it that side? I can never remember. Camera's back to the front. Anyway, take care guys. See you in the next video.